นี่มาเฮีย yeah, good afternoon from five <coughs> from five student good afternoon everyone okay so most of you h a v still having exam tomorrow uh, except I think การเจเบรังเดี๋ยวดูเดี๋ยวพิมพ์เพอ่ะ so so far ล่ะ your exam how ล่ะ actually not exam ล่ะ this is just uh, exercise only you don't need to worry so much ล่ะ the math side นะ no no need worry one The j a p a t a n they will ask for the marks. Okay. At first they say one, then later they say don't need, don't need send the marks. Okay. And then they also never fix the date for the exam. They up to the school to give. They say, okay. So don't worry so much about your this diagnostic test, lah. Huh? Okay. And another thing also, I'm sure you you all know t i t I your Friends are uh, from four, from three, from two, from one. They all they are coming back to school, you know. On the 15 t h July, they are coming back to school. Okay. So, meaning that in another two weeks' time, so uh, the school will become very noisy, l uh, back to normal again, no? Right now, I'm sure your school very quiet, very peaceful. So everyone enjoy peaceful life, isn't it? So when the lower form are your brother, sister, they all. Go back, h uh, The school will become noisy. Okay, some they have a uh, rotate rotate timetable. Some they have morning afternoon. Okay. So no matter how the form five still need to go to school as usual, lah. Uh. Can not rotate form five must go to school every day. Ah, uh, no rotation. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh. okay. Then your. Chapter 10, uh, this radio activity. Okay, last lesson or last week, uh, we stop at this detector. Okay, we have gone through a few detector, like b j five, like photographic from m uh, r We have gone through g o l i f electroscope. Okay, you see the paper. Uh, I share the paper with you all first. Ah. Uh. So i s here l t e t e c t o r l So like photographic plate. So this time we have discussed last lesson. Okay. Ah, uh, this photographic plate can detect all alpha, beta, gamma. All can detect. Okay. This one is using the concept of chemical reaction. Okay. The second one also you learn g o l l i f electroscope. Okay. g o l l i f electroscope. Ah. Uh, The method to detect is you see here, l o When you see the gold leaf collapse, when you put something near here, l o you see the gold leaf close up means ah, uh, this thing got radiation, you know. When you put this thing here, this gold leaf are no reaction, nothing happen. That means this thing neutral, no re, no radiation. Okay, and this device are uh, using the concept ionization. Okay. Because the radiation will ionize the A molecule here, make it positive ion, negative ion, right? Then the negative ion attracted down here to neutralize the positive charge. Once the positive neutralize, uh, so the leaf uh, will go down. Uh, when you see this one go down, mean got radiation, and this one only can detect alpha, because only alpha got strong ionization can produce. Positive and negative ion here. Okay, ah, uh, this time we have go through right. Harry Young, is it correct? Now this time we have finished last lesson. h uh, Harry Young. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, third spark counter. This time also we have finished spark counter counting the spark one. Okay, when you see got spark come out here means got radiation n uh. So spark counter count the spark. Also using ionization. Why ionization? Eh? Because you see, ah, uh, when this radioactive thing come in here, n uh, it will ionize a molecule to become positive ion, negative ion. Then the positive ion will move to the negative cathode. This one is negative, ah, uh, cathode. Whereas the negative ion will move to the positive anode. Ah, uh, this one is positive. 
So when this ion move right, they will collide and also they will collide with the A molecule. So it producing spark. <coughs> and you can see the spark come out. So when you have spark, mean got radiation. Nah. No spark mean no radiation. Okay. Huh? So this one using concept ionization. And it can only detect alpha, same like gold leaf electroscope. Nah. Only can detect, detect alpha because only alpha has strong ionization power can produce positive negative ion here. Okay, huh? And also, I think we have discussed this. Correct not? Geiger Muller tube, have we discussed? Carry on. GM tube, uh, discussed already or not? Yes. Yeah, okay. Also, uh, so I simply, I roughly go through that. Uh. Geiger Muller tubes, uh, this is the most sensitive device to detect radiation. Most sensitive one, you know, because uh, it can detect background reading. I see background reading. Background reading means uh, the radiation from the surrounding. Example, from the A, from the light, from the land, from the human body, from the plant, or this uh, background reading also can be detected, you know. Meaning that, uh, when you on this device, uh, once you turn on, uh, you never put any radioactive here. You just on it, then you can hear the sound. Tit, 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 tit. You can detect the surrounding radioactive already. So very sensitive. Lah. So meaning that lah, before you put radioactive here, lah, you on the machine already got sound, got reading. Uh, this one is something like zero error. Zero error need to be minus, isn't it, later on? Uh, because before you measure already got reading mark, so to minus lah, the background reading. Uh, that's why you see the actual reading you take. Your reading recorded minus the background reading. Okay. Later on, you will see the question how to answer. Like, huh? Okay. The concept very fast. I uh, explain here. Huh? Inside here got argon gas. Argon gas, you see? At low pressure. Why they make this argon gas low pressure inside? The reason uh, they make inside here low pressure, outside high pressure, right? If you push the radioactive, uh, push the radio radiation go in. So it make it very sensitive lah, because any radiation also will push in because here high pressure inside low pressure, it will push in. So can be detected. So very sensitive lah. Okay. And this mica window just like a filter to block the big, big particle only allow small particle go in. Lah. So very sensitive lah. Radiation go in, it will ionize the argon gas. So argon gas become positive, negative ion, positive ion, negative ion, right? So same thing happen now. So positive ion attracted to the negative cathode, uh, this negative cathode, okay? And then the negative ion attracted to the positive anode. So when they move, when the ion move, right, move here and here, the movement of the ion producing small current, so this small current can be recorded here. So meaning that uh, when you on the machine, you put something here, then you see got current here, got electric current, mean got radiation. Uh, so you can record the current here. Okay. Uh? So this one using ionization. And then best is what you can detect all three, alpha can, beta can, gamma also can. But you need to do correction of your writing. Before you measure anything, are you on the machine? You see what is the reading? Uh, the background reading has to be minus later on. Okay, uh? so this is Geiger Muller tube. Okay, next uh, we see this one. This one we are going to learn tonight. Okay, cloud chamber. Cloud, you know, cloud chamber. Okay, uh, compared to GM tube, right? Actually, in certain aspect, uh, this cloud chamber is better now. Better, you know why? Because it can differentiate who is alpha, who is beta, who is gamma, it can differentiate. GM tube good, uh, is only can detect alpha, beta, gamma, only GM tube, but cannot differentiate which one is alpha, which one beta, which one gamma cannot detect. But cloud chamber can, can measure alpha, beta, gamma, can detect, can also differentiate. 
a l p h a b e t a gamma can differentiate them. But the bad thing about this is this thing is too big, too bulky, understand? Very big, and then hard to carry. You need to carry it from one place to one one place very late, right? Okay, you know why? You know, it's very big, you know. Not only big, ah, you need to put dry ice, dry ice inside. So very, very ah uh, inconvenient, ah, because you need to need to put ice dry ice inside. Okay, the reason we put dry ice later, I tell you why, nah. Okay, how do you this cloud chamber is like this, you know? You cover this thing, you put dry ice. On top of the span, dry ice here, right? And then you cover it up. Then here got this uh, cloth. You got cloth here, you know. So what you need is you use uh, alcohol lah uh, to this thing soak into the alcohol to make this one wet. Okay, you see lah, uh, fell strip soak in alcohol means ah. Uh, This part of the cover, lah, uh, on top here, the inner parts of the cover, right, is wet with alcohol, wet one. Why we put alcohol? Eh? The reason is alcohol easy to vaporize. Okay, so the moment you cover it, now uh, you see that uh, the alcohol start to vaporize already. So full of what vapor here, lah, uh, vapor of alcohol. So what you do is you put the radiation, lah. Uh, Radiation put inside, or you go in here, put here also can. I put in now. Okay, what happen is this radiation will ionize the A molecule as usual. Ionize the A molecule, so you have positive ion, negative ion here because of ionization. Right, this radiation can ionize. In fact, ah, uh, alpha ionization is the strongest. Followed by beta. Beta still can ionize a little bit lah. Gamma also can still ionize the uh, A, you know, but too little, a little bit only. Ah, huh? okay. So what happen is after the A molecule been ionized, right? It become positive negative ion, right? Ah, uh, this positive negative ion now become the place ah uh, where this what this alcohol vapor lah uh, condenses on it, condenses on it. Condense on the positive or negative ion, right? Some it become small, become a droplets of water, lah. Okay. Then what is the reason of putting the dry ice here? Eh? Because ah, uh, we want to make this part very cold. Cold means ah, uh, very easy for the alcohol vapor to condense. Condensation. You want it to be condensation, right? So you must be cool enough. When it's cold, right? This alcohol vapor lah uh, condenses on this uh, positive, positive, negative ion, so it form the smoke lah. Uh, so this why you can see the smoke like cloud, because alcohol vapor condenses on the ion, positive, negative ion, so it form the smoke. This so why you can see the smoke here. Okay, so the smoke you can see is like this. You see here, ah, uh. ah, uh, okay. When you see the smoke now, all in straight line, straight one at uh, this beta. Ah, uh, sorry, alpha. Very clear one. You see the smoke now. Uh, the trace are uh, very straight line and well, very clear. And then you notice it alpha. Okay. When you see the smoke here, it's like this one. A bit, a bit one. Ah, uh, this is beta. You can see the shape. You know, it's beta lah. Uh. And then when you see something like this, ah, uh, a little bit, a little bit one. Ah, uh, okay. So it's gamma. This way you can differentiate alpha, beta, gamma. When you see here, see the result. Okay. Why alpha now? The smoke, the lines are very straight. Ne? The reason is alpha ionization is very strong. Very strong means got a lot of positive negative ion here. A lot, a lot of positive negative ion. Okay. So the condensation happen a lot. No? The alcohol vapor condense, so it will form the straight line, very sharp and very clear one like that. Okay. Whereas beta, the ionization is medium, so medium, so lesser positive negative ion form here lah. When you have less positive negative ion, so the alcohol vapor condense on this lah, form the smoke right, the line will not be so clear lor. It become like that. 
Okay, when you see something, this, this is beta. And then gamma, of course, the ionization is very weak because gamma itself is neutral. Ma. Neutral thing are uh, very hard to ionize. La. So it only produces a little bit of ion. So only little bit of ion can condense by the alcohol vapor. So it's not clear. La. You can see the smoke not clear. Okay, uh? So the concept used in this uh, cloud chamber is ionization also because this radiation ionizes the air to become positive negative ion so that the alcohol vapor can condense on it to form the trace uh, the smoke okay so that is a uh, advantage of this thing uh. okay now we see here when the radioactive ray enter the upper part you come in from here or put here also can uh. Ionization of A happens, so you can ionize the A inside log, so you have positive negative ion. This ion, uh, you see, allow saturated alcohol vapor to condense on it. So the alcohol vapor condense on the, the ion, uh, forming tiny alcohol droplets and will cause the formation of misty track like smoke, uh, like cloud. This time we call it cloud chamber. Okay. Cloud chamber can detect all three highlight, all three alpha, beta, gamma. And then not only that, can differentiate them. This one, alpha. This one, beta. This one, gamma. Can I not? You can detect and also can differentiate it. So this one is quite good, isn't it? Cloud chamber, right? So we have finished all. Of this on uh, detector finish already, we have five detector in our syllabus. Okay, come. Let me ask you a little bit question. Let's see whether you all can answer or not. Huh? Nicholas, uh, Nicholas, are you there? Nicholas Gu? Nicholas, uh, yeah. Nicholas, can you tell me two detector? Name two detector. Detector or radiation. Tell me two lah, two, any two. Okay. Huh? Uh, Golib electroscope and cloud chamber. Golib electroscope, one more. Cloud chamber. Yes, cloud chamber, correct. Two, okay. Yong Kang, Tan Yong Kang. Tan Yong Kang, ah, are you there now? Nah? Yong Sao. Song, Song Homan. Song, can you hear me or not? Song, ah. Song, Song, are you there? No response. Okay, now my, I call other people. Lah, huh? Tan Yon Men, ah. Tan Yon Men, are you there? Yes, sir. Yon Men. Okay, now you listen to my question, ah, Yon Men, ah. Okay, ah. Uh, Tell me three detector using concept ionization one. Three using ionization to detect radiation one. Three detector, can you tell me? Gold leaf electroscope. Yes, gold leaf use ionization. One more. Spark counter. Spark counter also using ionization. And one more. Geiger molar tube. Yes, Geiger Muller tip GM tip also using ionization. In fact, uh, most of them also use ionization, no, except I think one. Except one. Yongan, uh, which one not using ionization? Uh, uh, which one not using ionization? Uh? Cloud chamber. Cloud chamber, what? this one you have just learned this one. No? This one got use ionization or not? Hey, God. God, inside here got ionization, right? Uh. Got one not using ionization one. Photographic plate. Yes, correct. Photographic plate. Photographic plates are not using ionization. You saying chemical change. 
chemical reaction. The chemical reaction uh, it will make the thing become dark color. Uh, then got radiation now uh, this become dark color. Uh, okay, uh? So okay already, huh? Okay, all this done already. So we have finished already you now. Characteristic of this last lesson we have discussed, right? All this characteristic also discussed already. Okay, now tonight we are going to study this. Uh, this one is uh, radioactive decay. Okay, decay process. This is a very important one. Huh? Okay, let me explain to you uh, what is the meaning of decay, right? Decay uh, is another word means is the dying process. Die. Uh, the radioactive thing want to die. Because at first, uh, when you take them out from the soil, right, all the radioactive things uh, come from the ground. Uh, when you really take it out, it's very, very active. Very active means uh, they are very lively, you know, very strong, very active. Okay, so there's, they are very active, right? So what happens is slowly uh, it will die, one, you know. Okay, so it will die off slowly. So the process of dying, right, from very active to become not active. When not active means uh, dead already. Uh. So the process of from very active to become not active, uh, this process is called decay process, decay la, dying process la. Or we say like this, you know, when you take this radioactive thing come out from the ground, ground right from the land, they are very active. So active means that uh, they are unstable, not stable. So not stable means that uh, they are very active and it means not stable la. Okay, they are not stable, very active. So they will go through the process of decay, 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 and then until they die. Once they die already, they become very stable, become not active already. In other words, mean decay now is a process, uh, a radioactive substance changing from unstable to become stable. Stable means die already, you know, not active anymore. Uh, the process of changing from unstable to become stable is called Decay process. Okay. Decay process, uh, when it happens, uh, it will release a lot of things, you know. It will release the radiation, uh, alpha, beta, gamma will come out. In the process of dying, right, it will release alpha, beta, gamma, come out. So they only will release alpha, beta, gamma when they go through the process of decay, dying. Okay. So some take a few seconds to die off, some take a few hours, some take a few months, some a few years, few some a few hundred years. So all different different time one. So the life uh, some man can be as long as five thousand million years, you know. Five hundred million are uh, so long, you know, to die off. You say uh, one example I tell you is uranium, no? Uranium is very dangerous. You know why? Because the life is very, very long. Uranium might be take 5,000 million years uh, from very active until die. It take 5,000 million years. They say now inside the ground, uh, uranium still got a lot because uranium has the longest life. Okay, Not easy to die one. Take a long, long time to die uranium. Okay. Yeah, okay, now we look at here. Like, what is the meaning of radioactive decay? Radioactive decay is a process of nucleus changing to a more stable nucleus. See, it's from not unstable nucleus are uh, changed to become more stable nucleus while emitting radiation. Uh, emitting means release the alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, from Unstable change to become more stable. More stable means uh, die already. No life already, you know, die. Okay. Dying process uh, from very active, one to become stable down, die, uh, okay, while emitting the radiation. Okay. Nucleus before decay is called parent, parent nucleus. Then 
the product of the decay is called daughter in nuclear. You see that the, the main one is a parent nucleate decay. Once the product of the decay that we call it daughter the nucleate. Why we call daughter? Why we don't call son? Ah, uh, why? Why Liao Ah Liao Xing Xiang? Why we call why we call daughter, we don't call son? Liao Xing Xiang, you know or not? Mm. Now my no, no. You know lah, huh? You know why we call daughter? Because our daughter easily can still reproduce. Uh, actually, son also can reproduce, right? No son, uh, the daughter also cannot reproduce. Right? But never mind, uh, we've seen the scientist say daughter, so you just follow. Uh. Because the daughter nucleate uh, still can reproduce, continue the process. Uh, that's why we call it daughter nucleate. Okay, uh? Radioactive decay result change in the number of protons and the neutrons in the nucleus. Okay, so what happens is like this, you know, you look at helium 2,4. Uh, no, I see, I use this one to explain to you first. Uh. During the decay process, I uh, see here, uh, decay. So this one is proton number. This one is nuclear number. This one, you all know one, isn't it? Proton number is number of proton. Here, nuclear number. Nuclear number is the number of proton plus the number of neutron. Okay. So during the decay process, uh, it will this number will change one, right, you know. This number, proton number will change. The nuclear number also will change. Then at the same time, release radiation and also energy. So remember lah, uh, in the process of decaying, right, the proton number will change. The nuclear number also will change. So you see, one by one, we start with alpha decay. Alpha decay means uh, is release alpha. Okay, you must know alpha is helium 24. Last lesson you learned already, alpha is helium 24. Okay, so what happens is during the alpha decay now, uh, when it produce alpha helium 24, right? So what happens? You see the formula. Uh, here the number will change uh, you see uh, original is AZ after producing this uh, helium which is alpha this is alpha uh, okay you know one this is alpha helium is alpha okay so here minus two so here minus four okay because this four given to here this two given to here uh, so meaning that this number reduced by two this nuclear number reduced by four. When you release one alpha, and don't forget, there's a lot of energy behind. This process uh, produce radiation and also energy. Okay. Yeah. When nucleus decay by emitting alpha, the proton number Z uh, decreases by two, and the nuclear number A decreases by four. This is very simple, like your chemical reaction, balancing the equation, very easy, right? So here four, two, so here minus four, minus two, okay? So it's balanced left, right, okay? So remember, uh, alpha decay, proton number minus two, nuclear number minus four, okay? All right, next, now uh, example, very simple example, you see? Uranium, 92, 238. Release alpha, this alpha, and change to thorium. You see, this number minus two become 90. This nuclear number minus four become two, three, four. Then add energy behind. Please add. Every time when decay, the sugar energy come out on. Okay, energy behind. Okay, this one is alpha. Helium is alpha. Okay, it's alpha. Then plus energy behind. Okay. And now, the next one is beta, beta decay, okay? Beta decay, you see the formula, beta is electron, you know, fast moving electron is beta, right? This electron, huh? Fast moving electron, negative one, zero. Okay, 
since here negative one, so here must be plus one more because plus one minus one, then balance are. Huh? Then whereas this nuclear number no changes go here zero. The way here no need change. Huh? So remember now, during beta decay, right? The proton number plus one. Then the nuclear number unchanged. That's it. Okay. When nucleate decay by emitting beta, proton number increases by two. You plus one here. And nuclear number this one unchanged. Does not change. Huh? Okay. Huh? Understand? Huh? So you most important remember no beta is electron. You only one zero. Okay. An example. You can see here, uh, this example. Strontium 3890, release beta, then this number plus one become 39. This one no changes, become 90. This one is beta plus energy at the back. Okay, got a lot of energy come out. Okay, huh? so beta decay, alpha decay should be very easy. Huh? Beta decay mean release beta. Alpha decay mean in the process of dying, we release the alpha. Okay. And next is gamma emission. I see it's different, you know. Gamma, they don't, don't say decay. They say emission. Why different? Eh? Huh? Why is not decay? Why call emission? Okay. The difference is like this, you know. Decay now. Process decay involving change in the proton number and change in the nuclear number. It will change one. Whereas emission, uh, emission doesn't involve change in proton number and nuclear number. No change one. They say gamma very dangerous. You see, gamma emission. Uh, so you look at the formula here. This one, x, a, z, then still the same, you know. Exactly. I mean now proton number no changes. Nuclear number no changes. Just add gamma there. Okay. So gamma is neutral, is electromagnetic wave. So it's a wave or so it's neutral one. When it's a neutral means that it doesn't involve change in proton number and nuclear number. No changes. So we cannot call it decay, so we call it emission. And also we call we don't call gamma particle, you know, we call gamma ray. Okay, ray now nah, because it's electromagnetic wave. Okay, and behind here, remember to put put one at the back. Ah, put one. Put put one here. Ah, Raymond, put what behind? Ah, huh? behind must energy. put one. Yes, energy. Add energy. A lot of energy come out. NEG, very hard to write, nah? but using mouse and hard to write. Okay, my laptop no no touch screen one, so very hard to write. Plus NEG, huh? so you see proton number no chain, nuclear number no chain, everything remains same. Then suddenly something come out, huh? so this is dangerous or not. High frequency electromagnetic radiation coming from the nuclear decaying atom called gamma radiation. This gamma la. emitting a gamma does not change the atomic number, uh, never change the atomic number. La. It also has a little effect on the mass. The mass are here and here, the mass more or less still the same. It doesn't involve change in the mass so much. Okay. Example, you see this one easy to understand. Or? Cobalt 60, releasing gamma. So everything remains the same, 60, 27. Okay, release gamma plus energy. Okay, so this process happened very quiet, quietly, and then the energy produced uh, among the three. Uh, this energy is the highest. Among uh, alpha decay, uh, beta decay, uh, gamma emission, right? the energy produced by gamma emission is the uh, highest energy, the most energy, the most, okay? Yeah. So you know what is decay already, right? Okay, now, uh, things uh, will not be that easy one, I tell you. Uh, for a chemical, uh, 
it, it won't happen like this. It's only release one alpha or release one beta or release gamma. No, it won't do that one. It will release alpha, beta, gamma at the same time. So meaning that uh, actually alpha decay, beta decay and gamma emission uh, can happen at the same time. It mix up and uh, so it make the process become very complicated. Okay, because it happen uh, at the same time, not one by one, not one followed by one. No, no, it mix up one, you know, like roja. Alpha also happen, alpha decay, beta decay also happen at the same time, and also gamma emission all mix up one. So it become not that easy to study there uh, later on because uh, it do not happen very clear one by one like that one, you know, all mix up one. And not only that, you know, I want to tell you now is this decay process, uh, it not happen one stage and it stop one. No, you see like this one. Not happen like this one, change to this, then it stop here. No, it will continue one because this one is still radioactive. So meaning that uh, this nucleate, the daughter nucleate, right, will still continue the process of decay. Continue the process of decay means uh, it can release beta, can release gamma, so it still continue, you know, one step, next step, it still continue, repeat and repeat until everything finish decay. Uh, so the decay uh, process are not stop at one statement. No, it will continue a few stages. Okay, so it become a long series. So we call it decay series. Okay, you see here. Oh, no, la. you don't want to see the example first. La, huh? okay. you see the example one by one first. Answer the question first. La. Oh, this are okay, long. You see, I think you can understand now. Oh, no, difficult one. Uh. So, this one helium 2 4. So, here 2, so here minus 2, long 82. This one minus 4, 2 1 0. Because here 4, here minus 4. Okay, uh. and this one also the same. This one is beta electron negative 1 0. So, here minus 1, so here must add 1. So, 33, 83, here become 84. This one no changes, and this is gamma. Okay. Can I? So far, can you understand? All these people very quiet one, quiet, quiet, can I understand? Ah? Quiet behind it, but I don't know what you are doing one now. Nah? Hai Chi? You Kai Chi? Ah? Understand? Uh, yes, sir. Very understand. Can I? Sung Ho Man, are you there? Sung Ho Man? Ah? Uh, yes, sir. Can I? Mm, These are uh, William. Where are you, William? William can understand. William cannot hear. No? Oh, he type. Okay, let me see what he type. Huh? William. Yes. Okay, William. Okay. Yeah, William. William, uh, you are using handphone or using computer now, uh, William? Huh? Computer or oh, your computer no no microphone now. Nah. The second of no microphone now. Nah. Your computer correct not. Yes, go and buy one microphone. No, buy the handphone mic also can one ma. Nah. The handphone mic ah. Nah. Can just plug into your computer, then can talk already. Huh? William, okay. Uh? Ask your mom go and buy one. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> go to the computer shop, you say, I want to buy one microphone. Okay. Then the computer people will give you. Uh, okay. Uh? Next question. The next question, you need to have a longer calculation. Okay. Now you see the question. Huh? How many alpha particles and beta particles are admitted when thorium decay into lead? So you have to write the formula first. Start with thorium 90, 232. Decay to lead 82, 208. And then you say got alpha, 
but you don't know how many alpha so you put x here you do know ma you never say one you know i mean you don't know how many so you put x here and also got beta but also never say how many so you put y okay so remember no alpha is helium beta is fast moving electron okay okay yeah? so how to find the x and y they ask you to find the number of alpha number of beta mama find the x and y look okay so we use equation first you take the nuclear number 232 equal 208 plus 4x this one times 4 plus y times 0 and you get this equation now. okay so you solve this equation you get x equals 6 6 is x x is alpha law so 6 alpha so very easy right yeah next you to find the y you take the proton number 90 equal 82 plus here 2x plus y times negative 1 so you get this okay this equation 90 equal 82 plus 2x plus y times negative 1 huh? you get x is 6 so you substitute 6 that i put here this one bring over minus you get 8 so finally you get y is 4 so the y is beta so mean this question the answer is 6 alpha particles 4 beta particles huh? that's the answer so very easy now huh? Wong can understand that uh, Wong. Wong, what's the name already? Wong. I saw her name, but now it disappeared already. Yeah. Or the chains and names you cannot recognize anything. Okay. Brian, understand? Ah, uh, Brian. Yes, yes. Yeah. Brian also GBS, right? Uh no. You are not GB, uh, Catholic. Uh? Yes. Catholic school, uh, Brian. Okay. Tomorrow what paper, Brian? Uh, Catholic? Sejarah. Sejarah. Yeah. Objective ah. Uh? Ah, uh, all. Friday so short or can finish all people ah. Uh? Your school from Friday what school is what time dismiss one? One o'clock. Or oh, late one uh, one o'clock or uh, can okay, no wonder can finish uh, your school for, because your school I think no 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 Malay student right. Okay next. EK series, uh, I told you just now, right? Okay, series means I uh, continue along. You see, uh, uranium release alpha become thorium. And then this thing continue. Uh, you, you wouldn't stop at one state. You will continue one, two, three, four, five stages until here become stable. So meaning that uh, you will continue long. The decay process, uh, you see here, release alpha. Here, release beta. Here, release beta. Alpha, alpha again. You see the number keep changing. These are minus two, minus four. Here plus one, no changes because beta, beta to this one plus one. These are no change. Alpha, my minus two. These are minus four, minus two, minus four. Like that. So you see the process is continue for one, two, three, four, five stages and all. So it become a series. So we call DK series. Understand? It's a series of continue one until you finish. Okay? So that is the meaning of DK series. Huh? Radioactive substances often decay several times in a series of steps, emitting radiations and producing a new substance at each step. Each step. Huh? A parent substance produces daughter, this is daughter law, daughter produces and married daughters are more like granddaughter, okay? In what is called decay series, okay, this is somewhere understand, huh? But usually, la, decay series, la, they will give you a graph, you know, you must know how to study the graph, how to see the graph, okay? Look at the decay graph. 
Nah, here. This graph, huh? Just study carefully, understand the graph. Uh, your lesson uh, stop at nine or so, you know, because uh, the Tuesday group or so, because that Tuesday night, uh, many of them are kwa kwa chiao, because they, 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 most of them have a sejarah paper, they want to study, one study. So halfway nine o'clock, they ask, say, sir, I want to go back, I want to study my sejarah. So I stop at nine. So your group, uh, this lesson the same now, uh, also I will stop at nine. Uh, huh? Okay. Later on, maybe when you finish your test already, I will give a longer time. Okay. And another thing I want to tell you, uh, for tuition center, uh, this, uh, the SOP and the dates of open, uh, they haven't announced, you know, they say tuition center can open, but they never say the date yet, they say the date will be announced later. So until now, I never officially announced yet. So um, I think mostly in the whole month of July, uh, our class still carry on as an online class. Uh. August later on only we see how long, huh? Okay. So I think most probably the whole month July is still online, online class, okay? Understand now? Uh, Raymond? Yes, yes. Okay, huh? Okay, now look at this graph. How to see the decay graph then you see us? Uh, you start from the top one, you know. From the top, you look down until the bottom. Okay, like that. Okay, remember. This one is proton number Z. This is number of neutron. Someone time, someone ask question. Mas susah sangat. Nyoma ya. Ya. This is neutron number, not nuclear number. Is neutron. Ha? Okay. Now start from the top. P O. Polonium, why this is 84, here 214, where to get on? Okay, you refer lah. Here, proton number three, where you copy from here, 84, uh, right here, 84. Then here, nuclear number, uh, where to get 214? Uh, where to get 214? Sung Hohmann? Where to get this 214? Sung Hohmann? Sung Hohmann sleep already, I think. Brian, uh, where do you get this 214? Huh? Tai Chi. Tai Chi, uh, where do you get 214? <laughs> Brian, you want to answer? Where do you get 214? Okay, like this. Uh. Nuclear number is a total number proton of pro plus neutrons. Yeah. Ah, correct, correct. Proton plus proton is neutrons. 34. Neutron 130, ma. Add up long. 130 plus 84, you got 214. Right now. So here must be number of proton plus number of neutron. Then 214, get here, neutron, ha? nuclear number. Ha? Okay, now this one is 82. And here 210, 128 plus 82. Neutron 128, proton 82, total up to 10. And then you see now 84 go to 82, minus 2. 214 go to 210, minus 4. So mean this is helium, right? Minus 2, minus 4, so it's helium. Lah. Helium is alpha. So you have to put arrow one, you know. Put arrow, then put one alpha here. This one minus two, minus four. So correct now, this is alpha, okay? Then from here, here to here, like you see, uh, this one, polonium, right? The proton number is 84. And the nuclear number is 126 plus 84 is 210. And then now you see that uh, from 82, go to 84 means it plus two, okay? Plus two means uh, plus two two beta. You got one beta, you plus one. Negative one. When you negative one, means I have to add one here. Lah. Now two, ma, negative two. So here, add two become 84. Okay? So you see like this, all, 84 plus minus two, so you get 82. Ah. 
So now we know, right? When we release beta, so the number at one end, okay? So at two means at two beta, lah. okay? Two beta here, okay? And the last one is this number 82, this one 206. So minus two, minus four is the same, lah. When you see like this is alpha, then this one same direction like your vector, you learn your mx, right? This one is alpha, like that also alpha. Like this is one beta, two beta, no? okay? So the answer is two alpha and two beta, okay? All together. Or they, no, they ask one by one, okay? So the first one, stage one is here, this is alpha, one. Stage two, this is two beta, two electron. And the last stage three, this is another alpha. So the answer is here. Okay. Yeah, got it or not? Nicholas, understand now? Yeah. Where's your friend, Eric? Where's mm. Eric? You want, me, you want me to ask him? Huh? You want me to ask him? <laughs> ah, ask him, ask him. I don't know Tuesday he joined or I cannot remember. He did. Who? Hmm? He did join Tuesday. Oh, he joined Tuesday, ah. then okay. Nah, huh? Okay. All right. Next, decay curve. Decay curve uh, is a graph, you know, show the decay process. Okay, you can see the graph. Uh, let's say this is number of atoms. During the dying process, right, the number of atoms become lesser, 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 and then finally stable. Right? And also you can say that during the dying process, right, the decay process, the mass also become lesser one, you know. The mass uh, will keep on decrease, 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 then, and finally, stable, then stop. Okay? And you notice or not, the graph uh, will not achieve zero. It will not touch tier one, you know. It won't touch the zero one. So meaning that uh, during the decay process, uh, you can start with 1,000, 1,000 atom, then become half 500, 500 become half 250, 250, half it become 125, and then it goes on now, uh, it will not get zero one. You use, you use a pencil, you list down, uh, from 1,000 become half is 500, 500 become half is 250. 250 and another half is 125. 125 and another half is 62.5. And then it go on, uh, it will never get zero. The sign you see the decay graph uh, never touch zero one. Never touch zero one. This one also never touch zero. Okay? So it go down, but it didn't touch zero. Uh, remember? Uh? Okay. Decay curve, uh, you can see here, uh, you can describe it in terms of number of atoms. Number of atoms decreasing during decay. Or you say the mass of the substance decreasing. Or you can say number of activity decrease. Uh, this one is understand, a bit difficult to understand. What is the meaning of activity then? Okay, activity refer to the meanings of how many times uh, it released radiation how many times one in one second maybe with this five times so at first uh, the activity uh, is very high very high means uh, at the beginnings uh, is very active very active we will release a lot of this alpha beta gamma very fast then slowly uh, it slow down uh, slow down release also slow down already and then getting weaker and weaker uh, okay so remember now uh, decay Graph right can be expressed in three different different concept, you know, but the meaning same one. First one is described in terms of the number of atoms decreasing, or you can say the
the mass of the substance decreasing, or you can say the number of activity decreasing. Huh? Okay, when decay means uh, it must be decreased, huh? everything also decreased. The number of atoms decreased, the mass decreased, the activities also decreased. Okay, but remember, don't draw this line until touching zero here. No, huh? remember, no. Okay, you won't pass zero one. You learn in your MX, right? This uh, AP, uh, GP, uh, arithmetic progressions or geometrical progression, right? So every time you decrease, decrease uh, until infinity number of terms are being total up, uh, it won't become zero one, okay? You won't become zero one, uh, okay? Remember that, uh, decay curve. Okay, next. Half life, uh, this is more important, okay? Half life. <coughs> Okay, what is the meaning of half-life eh? Okay, as I told you just now, right? The decay process uh, will never achieve zero. That means uh, we cannot identify the whole life. Because uh, no matter how I still left a little bit there, not zero. That means you cannot find the whole life. So because of not become zero, you don't know the whole life. So the scientist decided to take the half-life half only. We only know it becomes half, but we don't, don't know the time it becomes zero. So take half-life. So what is the meaning of half-life? Okay, very simple. Half-life means actually referring to this law. If refer to the graph, half-life means time taken for number of atoms to decrease by half. Start with 1,000 atom, then degree half is 500. So you take how long? So that is half line. Or you can say half line is the time taken for the mass of the substance to reduce by half. Mass reduced by half. Or number of atom reduced by half. Or third one, you can say time taken for the number of activities of the substance to reduce by half. So remember now. Can be number of atoms reduced by half, can be the mass reduced by half, can be the number of activity reduced by half. Okay? Anyone also correct one? So that is the meaning of half life. Okay? You can't you can't see. You can see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. You are. Can you uh, aga, aga, tell me uh, <coughs> what is half life? What is half life, Kai Chi? Half life is the, the, the radioactive material. Uh -huh. The life uh, means it's a time. Uh, it's a time taken for uh, half of the unstable atoms to decay. Yes. Okay. You can say now. Uh, is a uh, time taken by half of the number of atoms to decay, uh, half of the atoms, uh, half of the number of atoms. Or you say for the number of atoms to reduce by half. Or you can say for half of the mass to de decay, the mass reduced by half. Or you say by the number of activity reduced by half. Okay, uh, so now you see here. Okay. Valerie, how are you? Uh, Valerie? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. Half line. Uh, Valerie, how? Okay, uh, good or not? Okay, uh -huh. okay. Half line is a radioactive matter. It's a time taken for half of the unstable atom to decay. Or half of the unstable atom to decay must be half, you know. Unstable means uh, active for the active atom to decay by half, okay? This one is count number of atoms. Or we say half-life of the radioactive is a time taken for the activity of radioactive four to half. This is for number of activity to reduce by half. 
So very important, I can tell you why uh, in your SPM, uh, sure you will get half-life estimate. You must know half-life. Next year, January 6, SPM start. Sure you will get this question one, half-life, I can guarantee come out on. Okay, half-life. The definition you must know, you know. Number of item reduced by half. Mass reduced by half. Time taken for the mass to reduce or time for the number of activities to reduce by half, okay? The time to get that. Now, example four. Okay, for calculation involving half-life, uh, I don't encourage you to use a formula, no need, uh, just do like that. Half-life radioactive 40 gram is two hours, okay? I mean, in two hours, uh, it will reduce by half. Uh, half-life is two hours, ma. So it start with 40 gram, no? You say 40 gram, right? Determine the mass of radioactive that has decay, already decay, and has not decay after six hours. So you mean like this, oh? From 40, half become 20. So this is two hours, because half life is two hours. Then 20 become half is 10, so also two hours here. 10 gram become half is five, also two hours. Then why stop at five then? Ramana. Why stop at five, Raymond? Because already six hours. Ah, six hours. It's like two, 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 you stop here, right? Okay, now you must know, you know, this five gram uh, is not decay one or is already decay? Ah, the so question asks, you know, has not decay at uh, this one. This one is a remaining, you know, not decay one. So not decay is five. Has decay mean you take 40 minus 5, so you get 35. So already decay one is 35. So this one is a remaining, not decay one is 5 gram. Understand? Brian, understand? Huh? Yes, yes. Kevin, Kevin Chi, understand? Yes, sir. Then, uh, okay, uh, this example you must know. Uh, sure, you will cannot decide our question one. Tan Yun Zhu, understand? Uh, yes. Tan Yun Zhu, uh. Then, uh, Julian, uh, Julian. <laughs> Julian, you understand? Uh, Julian E. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yes, uh, okay, come. Next example, five. Same thing, uh. you just draw a line like that. Half life sodium 24 is 16 hours. 16 hours, it become half. What is the time taken for sodium 24 to shrink from 0 0.64 to 0 0.04? Okay, start with 0 0.64. Half is 0 0.32. 16 hours, uh, half life. Then another half is 1.6. Another half is 0 0.08. Another half is 0 0.04. You, you stop at 0 0.04, right? So 16, 16, 16, 16 times 4, so 64 hours. So very easy, right? Half-life calculation, very easy. Lah, huh? Then, Tan Yun Zhu, okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Jiu Tong, okay? Okay. Okay, huh? Jiu Tong. Jiu Tong sure study Sejarah one, I know. Yeah, number seven. Half life of barium is 12 seconds. I see, you see, uh, some the half life very short one, you know, a few seconds only. Some will take very long time. Okay, so it depends on how long will it take for the activity sample to reduce to 1 over 16. Now, this one is given in fraction 1 over 16. If given a fraction, so you start with one. You see, start with one. One after 12 seconds, it become one over two, half, right? Then another half is one over four, one over eight, and finally one over 16. So it's 12, 12, 12, 12, so 48 seconds. Okay, very simple. So remember, if the question given you is in fraction one, so you start with one. Okay. If let's say the question given in percentage, like how? Given in percentage, then what? How to start? 
given in fraction you start with one one over two one over four let's say you're given in uh, percentage then how huh? you're given percentage of how to start wakai by wakai you're given in percentage and how to start probably 100 yes correct good Start with hundred percent. If given in percentage, you start with hundred. Hundred half become fifty percent. Fifty percent become twenty five percent. Like that, right? You go okay. Next number eight. Diagram show the graph activity against the time. Okay, now you see the graph. Okay, given a graph like this. Okay, but. This one is activity, this one is time, minutes. Determine the half-life. Okay, how to find the half-life from the graph? When you try, you try to find the half-life from the graph. Okay, you can try. Find the half find the half-life from the graph. Liao Liao Xing Xiang, can you try Liao Xing Xiang? Ah? Can you find a half life from here? 50 minutes. Yeah, what? 50 minutes. Yes, correct. Very good. 50 minutes. No, very simple. Ah. Start with 120. Drop to 60 is half already, right? So here 20. Here the time 70. So the time taken is 50 minutes. Lah. 70 minus 20. So the half life is 15 minutes. Very easy, right? Yeah. Okay, now we start answer a little bit the objective question. Uh. In fact, your Tuesday group I did not stop here. You know, so this question, but I think you got a little bit high before nine o'clock. So you can continue a little bit. Uh. Okay, first question, uh, what answer? Radio activity is a process of what what is an answer radio activity is a process of what next huh? uh, chan yen wu chan yen wu ah. what answer la chan yen wu radio activity is a process of what chan Ah, no sao chan. Okay. Type and see what type they are. C, you say answer C. Yes, correct. Answer C. Ah, correct. Thank you, Chan. These are emissions energetic particle. Energetic particle here referring to alpha, beta, gamma. Okay. From an unstable nucleus. Memang must be unstable. Unstable is very active. So it will decay. In decay, then only release energetic particles. And now I want to ask you all, uh, what is another name given to energetic particles? Besides, we say alpha, beta, gamma, there's another name one. What is the name? Anyone knows or not? Energetic particles, we can use another word to represent it. What is another word to say energetic particles? Oh, no. Yes, radioactive. Uh, Yong, what do you say, Yong? Uh, radioactive rays. The one is two words, so what I want is one word, sir. Hmm. Yes? Radioactive. <laughs> come, come, I, I heard someone saying just now. Photons. Ryan? Photons. Ah, photon. Yes, correct. Photon. Photon. P H O T O N. Photon. Okay, correct. Nah? Energetic particle also can be called photon. Okay. All right. Now, number two. Which one is not true regarding the radioactivity process? Which are not true here? 
Xiao Hui, which one is not true? Ang Xiao Hui. Donkey. Donkey. Okay. Yeah, la, right, la, donkey. La. Okay. Increasing the men are this one never happen. Because during the decay process, uh, actually the mass become smaller and smaller one, not increasing, it decrease. Produce a uh, radioactive ray, correct? La. Produce more stable nuclear, become more stable also, correct? It's spontaneous and randomly. Uh, spontaneous randomly means uh, when it happened, cannot be predicted. So, memang is correct. Spontaneous the process, uh, decay process uh, cannot cannot be predict when it can happen one or any time can happen one. So it's spontaneous and randomly. Okay. okay. Number three. Which one not produced by radioactive source? What kind? Which one not produced by radioactive source? Huh? What kind? X-ray. Yes, X-ray. Correct. Alpha. Beta, gamma, yes, but X-ray, no. Ah. That's why X-ray is not radioactive. No, not radioactive. Huh? X-ray, that's why you can take X-ray pictures. You cannot take alpha picture, cannot take beta, cannot take gamma because radioactive dangerous. You can only take X-ray. Okay. Next. Which are the following? Not a radioactive detector. Which one is not a detector? Huh? KHS, uh, this is who uh, you put your car, you cannot remember. No? KHS, uh, who is KHS? Who? Uh? Some KJ, how also? I don't know who. Jahao, Jahao, teacher. Oh, Jia Hao. Okay, Jia Hao, what answer? Uh, C. C, yeah. Uh. Yes, correct. Multi cross tube. Okay. Multi cross tube. This one is this one multi cross tube when you will study in chapter 9. After that, chapter 10, I go back to chapter 9. Chapter 9 very long, very electronic, very difficult one. Multi cross tube, you will study that, huh? Okay, number five. What answer is, which of the following device can detect all three alpha, beta, gamma? Now, this one, SPM, very hot question in the SPM. Which one can detect all three? Huh? This uh, Ong, uh, Ong, who is Ong? I put O N G. I don't know the Ong is who. Who is Ong here? Uh, Ong, ah, uh. who's mm. our? Ah, uh? me. You say me. Ah, yeah. uh, who? Ah, uh? who are who are you? Ah, uh? Ong. Ong Bian. Oh, Ong Bian. Put the like, name. Pien, you put Pien, I know you Ong, I don't know Ong Pien. So which one is the answer, Ong Pien? B. Yes, cloud chamber. Cloud chamber can detect all three alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, okay, huh? okay. Number six. Most of the radioactive did make use of what concept? Most of the detector make use of what? C. Yes, Harry Young, correct. Ionization, okay. okay. Number seven. Which of the following device cannot detect all three? William, William Chung, which one cannot detect all three? Ah, William, okay, one answer you put. Donkey, okay, see, ah? Yes, correct, donkey. Yeah, William, correct. Go leaf electroscope. Because a go leaf electroscope only can detect how far one only. Ionization power strong one. <laughs> okay, number eight. Ah, this one, ah.
So the answer is there already. Lock. Diagram show a source of alpha. So source alpha here, which is brought near to a positively charged. You see, this thing is positively charged, so it's open up. Not positive pole with bell mass, so the gold leaf open up. Okay, what happened to the gold leaf? When this one is alpha, it will ionize A here. Hey, this one you must know, no. I repeat again, huh? you have to listen carefully. This alpha particle will ionize A to produce positive and negative ion. So the negative ion will be attracted and then come down and then neutralize the positive charge here. So once it's neutralized already, so no more repulsion force. So the gold leaf will collapse. So it will go down. Lah. When here got radio, radioactive, right? The gold leaf will drop. Okay, so the answer is deflection decreases. So it come down. Lah. Okay, yeah. but just to know the gold leaf decreases, right? it come down not enough. No? You must know how to explain. No? What is the reason they ask you one now? It's because of ionization. A positive, negative. Are the negative one attracted to positive? Come down, neutralize this one. Once neutralized, so it neutral means no more repulsive force, then it will drop. Okay? Remember that, huh? Yeah, number nine. This answer, we know the answer. Can detected by spark counter. Spark counter also can only detect so far. Okay? Next. Cannot detect by gamma. Which one cannot detect by gamma? Huh? Cannot detect gamma ray. Which one cannot detect gamma ray? Valerie. Are you still here, Valerie? Valerie, huh? I know that like the Yuping School, the teacher got something to do with them. Okay. Division class with them, okay. <laughs> so, which one cannot detect gamma? Yon Un, are you, still, are you still there? Tan Yon Un, yes, sir. Yon Un, what answer? La? Which one cannot detect gamma? Gold leaf electroscope, yes, correct. Because you can only detect alpha, cannot detect gamma. La? Okay, 11 trace produced by. Cloud chamber caused by what? Just how cloud chamber, you see the smoke, right? The cloud smoke produced is because of what? Uh, LYK. Who is LYK? Harry, Harry, Harry. Harry Young, yeah, LYK. Ah, uh, Lim Yok Lee. <laughs> you are uh, Okay, number 11. Cloud I chamber choose... produce what? Uh, I think C la. C yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Yes, correct. C condensation. Condensation process of the alcohol vapor on the ion la. When the mm. alcohol vapor condense on the the small dot right, so it form the smoke la, la, Yeah. So Which of the following about alpha particles, beta, gamma is correct? Alpha is what? Beta is what? Gamma is what? So which one is correct here? Sing Yen. Ah, Sing Yen, are you here? Sing Yen. Ah. Sing Yen. Sing Yen, no sound. Hoa Kai la, Tai Hoa Kai. Which one is the answer? A. A la, oh. So alpha is helium, beta is fast moving electron, gamma electromagnetic wave. So this is very simple, I remember it now. Okay. And last question. Okay. 13. Which of the following statement is the characteristics of Alpha. Which one is the characteristics of alpha? Le? Huh? 
จะเข้า big one is the ฮะอันบอยอ่ะ characteristics of alpha wall alpha can penetrate paper ไหมฮะอยู่ check properly จะเข้าอเอเอเอ่าเออะไรแกแกนดิฟเล็กเตอร์ไปอิเล็กโทรมาเนติกฟิลโอเคอยู่ในมันว่าน่าแกนดิฟเล็กเตอร์ไปอิเล็กโทรมาเนติกฟิลไปคอมพลีกิตัดวันเยอะที่ยูส์ออฟเฟลมิงส์เลฟแฮมรูทูดีเทอร์มินวิสต์ดิเรกชั่นเดอะเฟลมิงส์เลฟแฮมรูโอเคโอเคอ่าไม่ออกล็อกหนึ่งทีนะฮะโซ่ไอเฮดตูสตอปแล้วเพราะว่าคุณต้องการที่จะวันสตอปหนึ่งโซ่คุณทัศน์เซกรุ๊ปก็ต้องฟอลโล่นะฮะโอเคโซ่ไอไอวันต้องทำให้เกิดเส้นนะอย่าสามของคุณยังต้องการที่จะสังเกตว่าน่ะน้องคุณสังเกตว่าอย่าทิ้งมือปีเปอร์ละสามเนี่ยว่าคำโมโซ่เดนิสนอตเดมวันบิ๊กกรุ๊ปของเดมเดอะยุคบิ๊งแอนด์เดอะโนซาวันโอ้ทิ้งมือกับปีเปอร์โอเคโซ่ขอบคุณทุกคน Okay, for follow the lesson from the beginning and you end now. Okay, so remember now, continue to study now. Okay, now to July, July already now. So getting closer and closer your SPM. Okay, so continue to study. Look out, Jiang. Okay, you can't jump. Don't know. You know. This, ah, this very young. Okay, so. I think that's all for today, lah. Huh? Okay. Thank you very much. Take good care of yourself. Okay. Bye bye. Thank bye you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, sir. Yes. Bye bye. Sir, you got tips or not? Thank you, sir. If given the reality, wa, you want to give away again? Given to you all reality the other day. Give already, me? Okay. Physics, ah, you study the paper given last year, can already. You study the objective and the structure question last year paper. All the uh, notes okay. given. Okay. Okay. That is enough for you already. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This okay. one don't have Bye -bye. experiment one. Do have experiment no experiment. One. No one. No essay. No experiment. Ah, William, your mic, ah, William. Only objective and structure question. Ah, uh, but uh, can we see your experiment? Ah, how's it? Experiment is suck. Maybe. Maybe the experiment is in such a question or... Oh... Okay, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Right. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, bye-bye. Hey, William. Hey, William. Hey, William. Hey, William. Hey, William.